Hey everyone, welcome back to another Java short video. Today's topic is what is multi-threading in Java. Let's understand the basics and look at some examples to bring the concept to life. Multi-threading in Java is the ability to execute multiple threads concurrently within the same program. A thread is the smallest unit of execution. Think of it as a lightweight process. Multi-threading allows you to perform multiple tasks at the same time, improving performance and resource utilization. Key benefits of multi-threading include improved performance that allows efficient use of CPU by running multiple operations simultaneously, responsiveness which keeps the program responsive, especially for tasks like UI updates while performing background operations, and concurrent programming which facilitates handling multiple independent tasks or processes in parallel. In Java, you can implement threads by either extending the thread class or implementing the runnable interface. First, let's look at thread creation by extending the thread class. For example, here we create a custom thread by extending the thread class and overriding its run method, and then call the start method to activate the thread, triggering the run method to execute in parallel. Now, let's look at another example where instead of extending the thread class, we implement the runnable interface. This is a better approach for multi threading as it avoids inheritance and promotes flexibility by separating the thread logic from thread creation. When it comes to uses, multi-threading is useful in scenarios like performing background tasks, which involves running long computations or network calls while keeping the main program responsive, and for concurrent processing, handling multiple independent tasks, such as serving requests in a web application, and heavy computations, leveraging multi-core processors to split and parallelize intensive calculations. Fun fact, did you know Java's thread.sleep method pauses a thread temporarily, enabling you to create delays without blocking other threads. That's all for today. Hit like and follow us for more Java tips.